How you guys? It's me, Aaron Fantasy, back once again. Yes, God, author of Dream Big, Levitate Trinity Talks, make it relate for you, because it's all about you, not these celebrities. How you doing? Video about the Nene Leaks reading section, the reading session. Um, and I seen it on a uh, post and everything, and I can't find it. Apparently, she got the backlash and everything. Uh, I seen it, and I was just sitting there like, what, what, what is all it is? We don't do this. Apparently, she seen it was horrible. It was bad. I was sitting there looking like this. I don't know about you, but I was sitting there looking like this throughout the whole video. It was cringy. It was so cringy. I was like, them jokes are not funny. They're not funny. It's like someone written it. It was written, you know? And if you're a reader and shader and stuff, natural. Absolutely natural. Like it's not authentic. It's like they, they, they've written it and they just scripted it. It's not scripted. It was just so awful. I was like, oh, this don't make the gays look good at all. I'm sorry. And and it does seem like it was something uh, she wanted to do. Oh, we're we going to read. We, gonna re we don't read like that no more. We're not sissy queens like that no more. It's so cringy. It's so cringy. We don't, I don't, I don't read like that. I don't read. I just, it's just natural and it's authentic in who I am. And yeah, but you know, this is her, I think uh, she made many statements trying to fix it and then she deflects. Oh, okay, they got it here. But for me, do I really care? <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your good Judy. Nene Leaks, honey. Okay, I love you guys. I swear I do. Y'all so funny to me. Okay, listen. So, in my story, I posted about the recession, right? And we don't do that. My phone blown up. My phone is blown up. My emails done blown up. I mean, I got production crews reaching out to me saying, oh, I can film your story. She lied. She is a bold face cheat a lot. Cheat a lot. She lied. Nobody want that. Because that's not authentic gay people. I think people want the real authentic gay people that just it just naturally we you know we shady and we read this not that's the, that's what we do not all that forced reading and you it is appropriating of our culture you know what I mean me being a gay person is it is it was just so cringy I'm sorry girl you lied. Streaming platforms are saying come over here on this platform. And she over here doing a lot of trash that she putting. She putting all this stuff out here that she want, honey, and it, it ain't true. It is not true. Okay, honey, I can, I can tell you that right now. Okay, listen. So, I started a company called Leaking Space. Let me tell you that. I don't, I don't even have a production. I'm not nowhere in that world. And I don't even want that shit. So, I decided to do um, something called the Read Session. No session. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I don't do this. I don't do this. I'm sorry. I don't do this. This here, this is displayed her. It's still cringy. It, we, I don't, I've never done this. My dreamers, I never do this. I can be queen when I'm drinking, honey. I can be queen. I can tap into that. Yes, girl. I can read, but I don't do this. I'm sorry. I don't do this. So I decided after I got all these videos, to pick some and do a zoom so we did a zoom and lots of people talking over each other was hard to control so for the ones that were in atlanta decided i will meet with some of them so we had a meeting at the lanethia which is where the read session will not take place the lanethia is a whole separate show we were just meeting there oh i see the meeting I, I think it's picking up the audio on the um play with it and let me just show you guys you know like how this will possibly work right so we started there during the meeting i said to them let's kind of you know play with it and let me just show you guys you know like how this will possibly work talk about the topic and we started to talk about the reads and different things we're just throwing around different ideas at the end of the day and my girlfriend was there and she said i'm gonna film you guys so she sorry i don't have on my um my hot topic lip gloss okay i'm sorry i had to walk the dog and some told me to do this and i'm doing it okay honey let me tell you honey let me give you a funny story somebody i washed my clothes 
And some told me not to wash them pants. Some told me not to wash the pants and everything. It was just, it, it was weird. And I was like, Eric, just wash your pants and just take it to the cleaners. It was like white pants and because of the black guest thicker and everything, um, basically they told me that may bleed into the pants. So just wash them and whatever. And, I, and you know, I, 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 my good clothes, I wash and don't dry. So I was like, I'll do that and then bring it to the cleaners, right? Honey, I went and washed them pants, honey. Ate a good piece that came on back and somebody stole my pants. <laughs> Somebody stole my pants. Okay, honey. And I'm like, oh, my name, something told me. I did a message called Something Told You in, in the podcast below. So check that out. Really powerful messages. You know, the person who steals is not the same vibration of the person who's giving. So, you know, oh, this is good. I did something, honey, and everything. And then the day later, today, God is good. Uh, they returned my pants. I didn't even know there was some articles of other clothing missing. But, honey, my guest pants. God gave my guest pants testimony it's all on my podcast it's gonna come out in the next series so yes scott so edu just want to share that and i know some of it was hilarious so i wanted to post so i asked them if it was okay for me to post about it and just see what the feedback would be from you guys oh my god i've gotten all kind of feedback i got people don't and honey it was all negative <laughs> It was negative.com, negative.com. That's what it was. And look how she tried to spin this. New story. Every blog has picked it up. Now listen, I'm happy. It was cheap, culture appropriation. It was, I mean, no one's described it. It was cringy to me. It was so cringy. I was like, we don't do this. And we don't do all this. We don't do that. I don't, who do this? If you do this, you know what I mean? We don't do that. I don't do that. And it was just cringy. I can't even get off this face. I can't get off this face. Get me off this face. It was just so, it was cheap. It looked like it got together, got an iPhone. <laughs> I like what gave Mitchell like, it was an iPhone S. <laughs> and I just thought it, and then it's like they were reading. It was a read session. They were reading a script. And then what is this? What is this? You see what I'm saying? That you guys like the read session, and I'm happy for those who don't like the read session because they're gonna be the main ones tuning in. So that's great. No. It's always good. Uh, it's always good to get deep. There go. <laughs> we're gonna see. Right, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see the snippets of other people's stuff, and then I'm gonna criticize it. <laughs> we not gonna tune in. I don't tune in to something that awful. Okay, you better make a good production of real, real life. Um, commercial, like, um, you need to take notes from RuPaul Drag Race and the Halloween specials, okay, honey? Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, that's how you do it. Not that makeshift thing, okay? Girl, down. Uh, you know, I know, in order to be a part of an ensemble, it needs work. Everything, you know, there needs to be a, a great balance. You know, one that's like this, somebody else that's like that, and somebody else that's like this. You know. So she's trying to put everything together. Okay, so I just wanted to play with my new um, little platform here, my new little way. Okay, honey, and just give y'all that. Okay, that's, I wanted. I wrote it down. I didn't did it. Okay, gave a reaction to the Nene Leaks read session, which she's trying to put together, honey. And um, that's just my reactions. That's my opinion. Get down in the comment section below, honey. Get down in the comment section below and let me know of y'all opinion of the whole ordeal. Okay, honey. Okay. Let me know what y'all think about the whole thing. Okay. I, I just feel like we gays don't do that. We don't do that. I don't do that. And and it was just cringy. I was just sitting there. I, I, saw, I was like, what the heck? What is this? And what is all this? And... and I don't do, we don't do that anymore. I don't even think the feminine queens do that. And then if they did and I, and I see them around me, I'm gonna sit there and look at them the same way. We don't do all that. We are not extra. You see, no more. You see what I'm saying? So, and when will we see ever like that? I think she watching too much Pose. I, I mean, I mean, the shade is subtle. We're like, uh, she need to think Phaedra Parks. <laughs> With me personally, 
and all the greats that they named to put on her show, they're trying to help her out, the kind people, trying to help her out, the greats, and they're subtle with it. Or it makes you think. Subtle, or it makes you think. They're smart. We're smart with the shade. We're like Phaedra Parks, but a little bit stronger with it. That's what she needs to be thinking. We're not extra. You see what I'm saying? But anywho, so that's my reaction to it. Y'all get in the comment section below what you think. Okay, I need to work on it. I'm so used to looking up. I need to work on looking that way. So let, let, y'all let me know. Um, give it a like button. Subscribe. We're going to be doing all kinds of things, honey, on the channel in this type of video. So stay tuned. Peace.